So I'm here with Patrick, and um, if you could tell us a little bit about how you came to learn of the book and the exhibition. Yeah. Um, so it was a part of Berlin Art Week, um, and I saw all the people on Facebook. Um, for me, it was something that I was very interested in because it kind of encompasses all the journey that I'm going on right now with discovering myself and gender identity and how that plays a role for me um, in society. So I jumped on the opportunity to go to um, the exhibition. Um, and it just so happened that my father was with me as well. So it was a very um, wonderful experience for both of us to share. How did your dad respond to the photography and the book later? It was very interesting because it was just by chance that um, my father was visiting when the exhibition was here and it was something we wanted to do and we just went. Um, I remember talking to Barrett and he was kind of highlighting some of the stories and um, photographs and my dad was on his own just kind of reading and taking it all in and it was wonderful to kind of watch him process that a little bit because I think my journey with sexuality was with him um, he was supportive but didn't understand uh, he was uncomfortable at first with the questioning of his own sexuality and maybe gender identity so for him to experience that with me was very um, monumental um, because I remember after we kind of came together and he said, well, I was saying that, um, you know, this one and this one, I see myself in that. And he had said that he saw a piece of me in every single story that he read, which for me was such, was so impactful because he was really applying it to essentially watching me develop my whole life. Um, and I think that experience brought us closer together. I imagine, too, his perspective as a parent and perhaps remembering things from your childhood or, or whatever, but having that, that sort of over, overview of how you have developed and how you're continuing to develop, it, I imagine it was really um, special to have that, to hear that from your, from your dad. Would you say that the community, do you feel that the community, the queer community in Berlin is different than um, any of the communities you've experienced in the US? Is there anything that feels maybe culturally or geographically different? I'm very new to kind of being in any sort of um, truly LGBT or queer, gay, lesbian community. I grew up in a smaller city, um, so the sense of community just wasn't really there. So for me, when I moved to Atlanta, I noticed the more heteronormative LGB community and felt misplaced there. Um, was expecting the larger amount of numbers to mean that I would feel more comfortable being myself. Um, so when I met Barry and discovered his kind of group of friends and this queer community, I immediately felt like, like I could let my shoulders down and let my guard down a little bit and be a more authentic version of myself. So having moved to Berlin, I felt um, the same sense. Um, it is underground here, so it's not necessarily street level queer friendly but I think queer accepting at minimum tolerating. Is that, uh, and how would, how would that compare to Atlanta in terms of the, the feeling you have perhaps in the, in the city? So I've thought a lot about this um, because I had this almost romantic uh, portrayal of what Berlin would be like as a queer person. Um, so having moved from Atlanta, it's a very driving city, so I get ready in the comfort of my home and my look and whatever, however I want to express myself. 
and then drive in my car in the safety of the confinement, and then I arrive at the destination, which is the safe space. So I think in Berlin, it's just a little different for me moving to a uh, public transit city where you experience the stairs and which is, I think, very natural, and here maybe a little more intense than other places. So I think that was a shock for me, because I wasn't ready, um, as I'm discovering myself and gaining confidence being queer, that I kind of took this shift backward a little bit and tried to fit in a little bit more, and I think I'm, six months later, finally feeling more comfortable coming into myself and expressing my style and gender in different ways. I guess I'm curious to speak a bit more about um, your dad's uh, reaction because I think it, it's really interesting that you had, that it was this shared experience um, and a, a very personal, a very personal one. Was there any discomfort, or was he open from the beginning when you told him that you wanted to take him to the the opening or anything? Was there any conversation beforehand? Uh, the conversation was very interesting before because this was something that I was very interested in going to, and I think I was a little nervous taking him there because of maybe my perception that he would or could be uncomfortable. So when I feel uncomfortable, I kind of get aggressive. So I said, you know, we're going to this queer art exhibit and sorry, you don't really have a choice. Something along, something to that effect. So there wasn't necessarily um, a conversation about any sort of processing before. I was just like, this is what we're doing. So you're going to come, it's an experience. And generally he's the type of person that's down for anything, whatever, and will take in all as it comes. Uh, so I think I was eased at his, really his body language is I was kind of keeping an eye on him as he was moving around the exhibit. Um, he was really thinking and processing and he's dyslexic. So for him to be looking at art and then reading, he has to concentrate. Um, and he literally looked at every single photo and read every single story. Um, because I think it was ended up being very important to him once he got the gist of what it actually was um, in the exhibit. Can you speak a little bit more about this journey that you're undertaking and find yourself really delving into in Berlin? So I think my journey transcends being queer. I think it's this very um, primal, spiritual journey of which I'm really just trying to find my joy in life and what purpose I have and how me as an individual fits into this universe of giving and receiving gifts. Um, and I think Berlin has played a huge role in that. Uh, a lot of, I've gone through a lot of healing here and with my dad's visit as a part of seeing all the people, the exhibit, it catalyzed conversations that we might have been uncomfortable having before. And in a strange way, this city, as we've talked about before, that has experienced so much pain has been a place for me of so much healing. Um, so it's in six months a lot of my belief systems have been challenged if not completely um, shaken and crumpled so I'm leaving Berlin at this time with a completely different outlook on how I can view myself uh, the way that I treat myself, the way that I look at my relationships, creating boundaries, being more compassionate with myself and others, and I'm leaving much stronger and ready to tackle more. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you.